Good evening. Thanks for choosing Acadiana's news channel at 10 o'clock. I'm Danielle Garcia. John McCain, a longtime U.S. Senator and Vietnam War hero, has died after a year-long battle with brain cancer. ABC's Kenneth Moten brings us a look back at the life of McCain, who sacrificed his freedom and health for his country. He was a political maverick and a military hero. Over five decades, John Sidney McCain III became a towering figure in American politics and public service. Born on a U.S. military base near the Panama Canal, McCain grew up in Northern Virginia, the middle child of three in a family of Navy admirals. He attended the Naval Academy and became a combat aviator, flying missions over North Vietnam during the war. In 1967, McCain was shot down, captured, and later tortured during five and a half years in a North Vietnamese jail dubbed the Hanoi Hilton. So you have to have faith uh, that your country and your countrymen are doing everything they can to bring you home as quickly as possible. His scars of war became reminders of his valor, a decorated hero who turned to politics as a second calling. In 1982, McCain ran for Congress from Arizona, home to his second wife, Cindy Lou Hensley, a Phoenix school teacher who became his sweetheart after the war. The McCains would raise four children, including an adopted daughter from Bangladesh, a tight-knit family that factored prominently in his campaigns. McCain served five terms in the U.S. Senate and ran for president twice. I'm not running for president to be somebody, but to do something. In 2000, McCain lost the GOP primary to George W. Bush. Eight years later, he staged a storybook comeback to clinch his party's nomination. As candidate, he catapulted Sarah Palin to fame, while in his Straight Talk Express, winning a reputation as a candidate of character. But in the shadow of an unpopular Republican incumbent, McCain struggled to build momentum and at times strike the right tone. The fundamentals are, of our economy are strong. He got overtaken by a resurgent Senate colleague, Barack Obama, who was on a history-making run. True to form, McCain didn't fade away, turning misfortune into the role of elder Republican statesman. A party leader unwilling to bend to pressure, one of McCain's most dramatic acts of defiance, his July 2017 no vote on the GOP's skinny health care repeal, one of several failed attempts to dismantle Obamacare. A staunch critic of Democrats, but never afraid to be a conciliator. A budget hawk who led the charge against Obamacare, while trying to broker an elusive compromise on immigration. But McCain may be most remembered as a fierce advocate for veterans and the military, which he loved. Kenneth Moten, ABC News, Washington.